New on the night team, a bus driver and a passenger got into an argument. A few seconds later, video obtained by 7 News shows the driver running him over. So what happened to the woman behind the wheel? The night team's Patrick Frazier has this exclusive special assignment report. Dangerous driver. Here's the quick version. Michael was riding on a county bus. He and the bus driver got into an argument. Seconds later, Michael was lying under the bus. I was just thinking of my daughter. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready to die now. Now the full story. Michael Polanco was taking Miami-Dade Transit home after a long day working in construction. He asked the driver, Bridget Hampton, to get off through the front door. And she said no. Within a few seconds, they were hollering at each other. Then Michael made crude sexual comments to the driver. Michael got off in the back of the bus and walked around past the driver. As I was going towards the front, I flicked off the bus driver with the middle finger and she did the same, she flicked me off. Hampton then started cussing at Michael. As you can see, Michael was now at the driver's window. Hampton turned the steering wheel towards him and hit the pedal. I had steel toe boots on. That's what saved my foot. If not, I would have lost my foot. As people rushed to help Michael, the driver stood up. And uh, she didn't do anything to try and help him. In fact, Hampton never got off the bus. The 15-ton vehicle crushed Michael's foot and ankle. His attorney calls it filleting his leg. I've seen a lot of videos that are difficult to watch, and this is one of the ones that sticks out to me. Miami-Dade police agreed it was intentional. Bridget Hampton was arrested and charged with second-degree attempted murder and assault and battery. In the meantime, Michael was hospitalized, with his medical bills reaching $298,000 but at least he's alive. Yes, I had a guardian angel that day. In a way, Bridget Hampton is also lucky. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office dropped all the charges against her, writing in this closeout memo that the victim used aggressive language when he approached the driver, and the state would not be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the incident was anything more than an accident. But it is something that I did find curious. I've never met a single person in my life, regardless of how they may have acted, that deserves to be run over by a bus. The county also didn't blame Hampton for running over Michael, refusing to pay his medical bills or compensate him for his damaged leg. Redondo has filed a lawsuit to get that taken care of. This is a county bus driver who was driving a county bus in a county uniform uh, while on shift, and she ran over my client. And there shouldn't be any dispute about that. But while the county doesn't think Hampton did anything wrong, her bosses at Miami-Dade Transit do. We obtained her personnel file that shows Hampton was fired in 2016 for profane language towards a passenger and failed to pick up passengers. The union got her job back. In 2017, she was fired again. She got her job back. After she ran over Michael, she was fired for a third time according to his supervisors, for cussing at the passenger, for not rendering aid to Michael, and they added that the accident was preventable. This person uh, should never be driving a county bus again, that's for sure. We tried to talk to Bridget Hampton. She didn't respond to us. Too bad, because Michael said he had a question he wanted us to ask her. Were you trying to kill him? If the county doesn't settle his lawsuit, Michael might hear Hampton answer the question in a courtroom. I'm Patrick Frazier. 7 News.